Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about four tips for turning when you're driving. Turning is a very important part of driving because you have to usually take many different turns or make many different turns with any driving experience. So no matter where you're going, no matter what time it is, you'll almost certainly have to go through many turns when you're driving a car. Let's get right to it. Tip number one is you want to have a consistent speed throughout the turn. Now that means you want to get any braking or acceleration done before the turn or after the turn. As you're leading up to the turn, if you have to brake or accelerate, do it before you start turning your steering wheel. As you exit the turn, if you have to brake or accelerate, do it after you have finished the turn, after your, your steering wheel is straight again, okay? So try to keep a consistent speed throughout the turn as much as possible. Minor adjustments are completely fine, but the fact of the matter is that if you change your speed throughout the turn, that's going to change the curvature of your turn because if you have your steering wheel turned a certain amount and you're driving at a certain speed, if you drive fast the way that the car will react to that steering wheel turn is different than if you drive slower and same thing with slower so there's a big difference okay that's why you have to maintain a consistent speed throughout the turn not only because it is much safer but also because it, it, it allows you to have a more predictable steering experience a more predictable turning experience tip number two maintain consistent wheel turning throughout your turns okay maintain consistent steering throughout your turns what you don't want to do is take a turn and then have to correct the steering wheel throughout the turn that will produce once again a very unpredictable turning curve you don't want that you want your turning curves to be predictable so in order to get the hang of it you need to practice the more turns that you take with your vehicle at a variety of speeds and a variety of sharpnesses what's gonna happen is you are actually going to become better at predicting how much to turn your steering wheel the curve that I just took on the road right there I knew how much to turn my steering wheel because I've taken that type of curve in this car at this speed many times so practice makes perfect you want to learn how much to turn your steering wheel so you can keep it consistent meaning you turn your steering wheel and you basically hold it into position for the duration of the turn and then you release the steering wheel and you straighten out the vehicle that's what you want consistent steering like I did right there I turned the steering wheel held it throughout the turn and then I released and straightened out the vehicle. Consistent steering. So tip number one, let's recap. Tip number one is consistent speed. Tip number two is consistent steering. Tip number three is you want to take the turn at the right angle with the right position. Now obviously sharper turns will require you to turn the steering wheel more than turns that aren't so sharp, than just minor curves in the road. Now what you want to try and do for sharper turns is you want to get the right angle. So you might want to actually swerve out slightly. So move away from the turn slightly then move in. If I was making a right hand turn, I would try to just move to the left slightly and then turn into the right hand turn that will allow me to get a sharper turn a little bit better okay with looser turns with cur with turns that aren't so sharp what you want to do turns that aren't so aggressive I should say what you want to do is you can stay a little bit tighter so if I'm taking a right hand turn and the turn isn't so aggressive it's not very sharp I can actually stay a little bit closer to the right than usual so the sharper the turn is the more you want to sort of get take the turn more aggressively the the and turns that aren't so sharp and aren't so aggressive you can stay tighter to the corner uh, because the speed and the sharpness will allow you to do so and last but not least tip number four is you should be predicting the road conditions if roads are wet you have to slow down when you make turns because you don't want to you don't want your car to slide or whip around or drift or anything like that you have to slow down so if I'm taking a turn at 30 kilometers an hour with dry road conditions and then I'm taking that same turn with wet road conditions when there's snow or, or, or rain or water on the ground then you have to slow down you might want to slow down to 20 kilometers an hour and if it's icy maybe even like five or ten kilometers an hour you have to predict the road conditions that's a matter of safety Safety is first. And that's basically it. In this video, I have gone over four tips for turning and steering your vehicle. If you're taking turns, which if, I'm sure you are if you're driving a car because I've taken, I don't know, 35, 40 turns within the time of making this video or something like that within the time that I've been driving on this trip for the most part, these tips are very useful for you. That's basically it. Be sure to subscribe for more car videos like this one.
And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.